Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to High Off Blue Hour, and we are going to do a quick and easy way to create a snow effect in Fusion using particle templates. So this is going to be a pretty, pretty easy, straightforward thing. I'm going to drag in this image of uh, basically a kind of a wintry urban city, city area, stretch the uh, I'm going to stretch the image out to about, let's just go 12 seconds, I guess, 14 seconds. And the aspect ratio isn't the same as the aspect ratio of the project settings, but that's fine. Um, so we're just going to take this image as our background image. We're going to highlight it and then we're going to go into fusion with it. So we're in fusion now and we've got our media out node to the right and our media in node to the left this media in node this is our background and this is our image that we have right here i usually rename things but i'm not going to rename it since we're not going to be doing a lot so just going to leave it as is so what we're going to do to access the templates you want to go up here and you want to click effects and then you want to go over here to the upper far left says effects you want to go down to where it says templates you click the drop down arrow for templates and then you go down where it says fusion you click the drop down arrow for fusion and now you have this long list of kind of effects and these are basically uh, the categories for different templates so we want particles so we're going to click particles and then we go over and here are all our particle templates so you have like blown leaves which is actually a more you know timely and appropriate uh, effect to look at considering the season but we're going to stick with the snow effect for this video and i have looked at some of these not all of them but i have like i've looked at blowing leaves i've looked at uh, fireworks there's a matrix one that i've looked at so i have looked at some of these but not all of them but these are very useful kind of um these are useful these templates so we want to go down here second from the bottom to snow we're just going to click it and then this pops up in our workspace this is the snow let me make the screen a little smaller this is the snow template and it's basically a collection of nodes that's what makes up a template in fusion so and they're all highlighted so when they're all highlighted like that you can move them all together like so so what you do with templates you really just all you really need to do so far in my experience because again i am not a, a an expert or anything at fusion but so far in my experience all you really need to do is plug these in and how you plug these in where well, you got your media in attached to your media out down here you want to disconnect these so click the line to break it up and disconnect them so you want to take your media in which is your background or your picture and you want to plug that into this pink triangle that's on the bottom of this camera 3d node and when you plug it into this pink triangle the pink triangle is going to move to the back of this 3d node right here so like that all right so we got that that picture the our background image plugged in we don't see it yet because we haven't plugged anything into our media out yet so what you want is you want this render 3d node right here to go into your media out node because that's how you know things get to the timeline basically so that you can eventually export them and you know get your full video so plug it into media out boom and so now our image background image shows up let me kind of move a few things out of the way so that we can uh kind of look at things better uh proxies okay all right so now what we're going to do i'm going to press play so we can just get a look at what this effect looks like as is uh yeah so let's press play and i'm sure you know the speed is not going to be the same as the finalized version would be but you do see the particles starting to come down and just you get a sense of the size of what they look like and different things like that and just kind of the uh, you get a sense of what the effect looks like and what it'll, it what it will look like in full motion and i actually will have a, a final kind of render a final video playing during this video showing what the the final version of this actually looks like but just very simple uh, a very simple effect and a matter of fact what i will do too is i'm going to stop this 
and I'm going to actually delete this image and we're going to substitute it with just a straight up black background so that you can have an even better visual of what the particles look like and what they kind of move like. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that that picture and we're going to drag in just a, a background right here. Drag it in, drop it, and then connect it to that same pink triangle. And now we got just our black background. And now you can better get a better visual on the particles. Let's press play. And now again, this isn't really the full movement of the particles. Like it's they're not moving at full speed and all of those type of things. I do have, you know, proxies going right now at half speed. I'm not sure how much a difference that's even making in this particular situation, but um, it's kind of the best I know to do to kind of hopefully ease up some of the lag, but you get the sense of the movement here. Now, one last thing, because this is supposed to be kind of a quick thing. Another thing, all of these nodes can kind of teach you a little bit and help you with uh, getting better at fusion because all of these, you can click into these different nodes and get a sense of what each node controls and which which each which parameter each node affects so that going forward when you get to a point where you're kind of putting together your own effects and maybe you want maybe you want a snow effect but you want to do the snow in your own way in your own style you don't want the template um, using templates and kind of you know I guess studying them and observing the different parts of them can kind of serve as a learning tool for you going forward and just creating your own templates and going going forward uh, from there. So that's really all it is. It's just a plug and play type deal. And you know, if you want to do customization and things like that, that's up to you to do. But maybe you're in a situation where you just want a real quick, easy to access falling snow effect that would just add a little bit more to your your video or your image or whatever production you're trying to do. This is a very quick and easy, simple way to do it. And it, you know, it's great for people that have very limited knowledge of fusion. It can also help you increase your knowledge of fusion by using and observing the different templates. Now, I, and also too, for those that maybe don't know, that don't know this, uh, to get to your final export, which you would wanna do, all of this, this is just in fusion once everything flows into media out this is what takes things into the timeline right so now let's go back into the timeline and when you want to export this now we obviously i took that image out that was here um matter of fact let me go back let's go back into fusion delete this background and let's go ahead and bring that image back in just because technically it's going to make more sense so you're gonna when you want to Bring that image back in boom it's connected so when you have your fusion stuff set up the way you want it and it's all flowing into the media out like things flowing into the media out it's kind of that's the final step to making sure your fusion composition is ready to go once that's all set up you're going to go back into the timeline and then you just export from the timeline as you would any other kind of video production so we've so we got you know the snow falling here in fusion got our video basically the way we want it nice little wintry wintry mood maybe a little bit of noir noir mood to it as well and then you would just go down here to deliver and you're gonna kind of just export as you normally you would kind of export as you normally would just you know mp4 whatever you know whatever your exporting parameters you want things to be you know horizontal resolution um, yeah, so and then you just export as usual. I know sometimes I do part of when I do uh, fusion videos, I almost I don't think I don't think I always talk about the exact kind of like, you know, you export from the edit, you know, you go into the edit tab, and then you go into the deliver tab and all of that type of stuff. Sometimes I end my fusion videos in the fusion tab. And that's not actually the end of the whole process because you do have to export, you know, your final project. So I do want to kind of point that out, you know, get once everything in Fusion is the way you like it, you do got to go back into the timeline, you know, get things the way you want them in the timeline. And then when you're really finally done, go down here to the deliver tab, you 
click that and then you do all your exporting from this screen here with all of your settings and and all of that so so that's a quick and easy way to uh, add a snow effect using particle templates in fusion so that's the video thank you for watching catch you on the next one